The human body is an example of one of seven of 13 of 110, just as it is an example of three, seven, and nine. The three comes from the fact that every human body is divided in two. You have symmetry. You have a line of balance drawn down the middle of your face and the middle of your sternum and down through your junk so that your one leg and your one arm are mirrored on the left and the right of the line of balance. Left, right, balance. Your trump cards. Zero, one, and nine. The one is obviously your body. Oh, seven. Seven are the sticky outy bits. Now, every human has a head. A head. Two legs. Two arms. And if you're female, you're going to have two of them. And if you're a dude, you're going to have, well, two different types of st sticky outy bits. Meaning, you know. So, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. A Thirteen, because we know about balance. We know about balance in the body. The human body has a left and a right and a line of balance. You can look at the left hand, which has five digits, and a sixth digit, and a seventh digit, and twelve digits. Mirrored on the right side, 13. And the 9 would have to be all of the sticky outy bits combined as one. So you have five appendages, your head, arm, arm, leg, leg. Male and female have three parts. So that's eight. And those Eight parts are in your dermis, your universe, and a circled eight is equal to a nine. Now, this is the creme de la creme, guys. 110. Because you are an asshole, you got an ass. Which is a giant fucking circle. At the center of said ass is a tiny little raisin. Or a black hole where poop comes from. And when you look at it from afar, it's actually divided into a left and a right. Because you have an ass crack. Depicting a one, zero, zero. Little raisin guys. And we all know that the upside down backwards and flipped of a hundred is equal to a hundred and ten. Therefore, the human body is symbolic of three seven nine as well as one of seven of thirteen of a hundred and ten. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Energy is cellular. Yeah. The earth is cellular. Yeah, the earth is flat. Yeah, the earth is round. If you were to be an observer from a different realm, let's say the moon. If you were in the moon, your reality would be flat. And you would see all the other planets, including earth, as a round ball. We can't see earth as a round ball because we live in her. And no matter how far we put a camera up in space, all we're going to see is a flat plane. 
you have to observe it from somewhere else to see the light bending to make the earth look like a ball. We have no evidence of ball earth because all of NASA and all of whatever has been ever put out there in all of life and all the taxpayer money that has been stolen to support space and space programs can all lick my balls behind Tony Stark and the whole flat earth theory movement. Because everything is number, Pythagoras. And that's very important. Because there's a code. There is a cipher. There is a pattern. It's really easy to do. It's a whole bunch of ones. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Fibonacci sequence up to 16. Fourth column of Fibonacci, which you have to derive with knowledge about cellular math. Makes a clown face. And the fifth column of Fibonacci, which finally completes the hypercube of Earth, or the clown head, which is... A 2 by 2 by 2 inside a 6 by 6 by 6 inside an 8 by 8 by 8 depicted on a two-dimensional plane in mathematics language as a 5 by 5 on a two-dimensional plane with a 3 by 3 inside it. And the 4 by 4 is the invisible line of division. And we're ruled by Saturn, which is 4. The invisible division lines were ruled by invisible lines of division. And you think that that is freedom. <sighs> After this explanation, I really have no qualms calling you an asshole. Because it's a compliment. Because we live in upside down land. Where everything is backwards and flipped. And you should know that because it's important and depicted in everything, including your body, your friends, your family, your children, everyone's body. Unless you, like, got shit cut off and stuff, but they were there. Unless they weren't. Then I'm just being insensitive. So you should find your safe space. Go to there. Turn off the light. And merrily, 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 go fuck yourself.